hello and welcome. This is going to be a new series of videos that I'm going to do. And there's not really a roadmap for them. I th I'm thinking I'm going to call them Let's Talk About Death. Um, recently, my aunt, my mother's sister, who was in many ways more like an older sister for me. <laughs> this video does not want to stay up. Um, she recently passed. Last, well, yesterday morning, in fact, or th this morning, now that I think about it, it's funny. So, and it wasn't expected. It was, she had, well, their, their family had congenital heart conditions and not, not a lot was known about the whys or the hows. And there wasn't, other than her getting sick, and we kind of all thought it was a little bit of a flu, and she was a hard working type, so she was trying to just suck it up and, and do it, and it turned out to be a heart attack that had been going on for almost a week, and because of other factors involved in that, they fought hard for a week, things were getting good, and then they took a turn for the worse, and they gave her the option, and she chose comfort, and so my family now, which is in my immediate family, I have two sons, one who's nine and one who's 15. Um, a, the nine-year-old is a Leo and the 15-year-old is Pisces, Pisces Aquarius cusp. I also have my um, elder parents, uh, one who's a Gemini and one who is an Aries. And all of them, we all lived with this aunt of mine, so it's, she was our immediate family and a part of the household and everything. And we also lost um, her her dog, her little dachshund. I don't know her since then. <laughs> um, she's a cutie though and she passed just about when my aunt went into the hospital. And sometimes these things do happen and I, that's something I do want to talk a little bit about. Although like I said, there's not really a roadmap for this stuff so I'm not sure of the order that I'm going to do this in. This is more an introduction and more that I'm noticing, especially with C19 going on, that there are a fair amount of people dealing with illness and unexpected events and as some people have called 2020 kind of that uh well I don't know there was a meme that somebody posted that said you know if a portal opened up in the middle of my living room right now and being at 2020 I'd be like all right we're gonna learn to live with it <laughs> you know and there's a lot of things going on a lot a lot and I know that my oldest son being in the teenager bracket too a lot of his friends don't have the adult support around them and are also feeling very emotional some of them even feeling suicidal uh, for some it is it is direct and for some it is hyperbolic but it's still an extension of just really big feelings with not much place to go and then even with the direct um, loss of a loved one in my family that you know between extended family and others. I mean, there's all sorts of different reactions. It's funny. I just looked at the radio and Imagine Dragons Thunder is on. And before that was a new song. I don't remember the artist, but it was by, it was called Rescue Me, which is funny, the synchronicity in that. So, but the thunder comes sometimes when you lose someone you don't expect to, and you don't really have a place that you can put those feelings exactly. And I know that my oldest son in particular had a hard time with that, and I'll do a video talking about how we kind of approach some of that stuff, um, and I'm no expert by any means. I'm, I'm kind of amused in a way because I've, there's been a theme in my life dealing with death. Um, I, I, I guess in a weird sort of way I was fortunate to have um, not direct loved ones pass early on, but family members and so I've kind of been taken through some of the experience of it and given more time to process it whereas my my kids this will be their first experience with it and for a fair amount of other adults in their lives and other family members it's maybe only one or two and there are other things going on as well um, we have other family members in the hospital and there's all sorts of things going on. None of it is actually C-19 related, but it is affected by it. Like a, you know, visitation in the hospitals and what do you do if you can't see someone who is sick and, you know, different things like that. And I'm actually drinking a, a cream soda, which reminds me of my aunt who passed and she got me into cream sodas. And those are 
you know, little ways that you could think about people. In any case, um, some of the topics I'm thinking to talk about are how to talk to your kids about death, about pets, about people, of experiences, um, maybe like loss in general, I might talk about that, um, and kind of my thoughts about different age groups, how to handle that, some things are the same, some things are different, um, how to value consent in that, how to figure out how to muddle through just enough information to give, which isn't always easy, um, how to help loved ones who have to be in charge, um, how to sit with your own feelings to a certain degree, and I don't know, I might throw in some astrology stuff. The theme with death that comes in my, I have a Scorpio Mars, and my south node is in Scorpio, so my last life, I was most likely a Scorpio and dealt more directly with death. And being that that is my Mars sign, it also signifies, it, it can be, you know, a Scorpio Mars signifies a lot of your career stuff, and it can be about, well, death, lust, sex, mysticism, taboos, things of that nature, and so it's an interesting field to be talking about. I won't say it's completely comfortable by any means, but I hope, what I really hope is that others will get on and talk about their feelings and stuff, and that by way of that what's already on YouTube and everything can kind of add a collection so that those seeking some guidance, some solace, just somebody to jabber at them, will have it. So, stay tuned if you'd like. Watch something else if you don't. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.